So it wasn't just enough to bring people in and say, okay, here's a bed and here's a meal. Right. We had to provide them the tools to make a difference. So yeah. when they wake up the next morning and they say, you know what, today I really want to try to make the right choices, then we can figure out through our case management what program's going to help them do that. Is it education? Is it substance abuse? Is it mental health? I mean, we see 1,200 to 1,700 different people in a year, and a third of them have a mental illness. And that's not something they asked for. No, so or, it's not, you know, uh, right. You know, the, the possible drug abuse or alcohol abuse is secondary to the fact that they have a mental illness. Right. You know, they, they need tried self-medicating because of their mental illness. Sure. And their addiction is what ended up usually leading them to the path of being here. Now, the other place, I guess, that made a big impact on me, and I know well to the people watching the show, is the, the food need. Because you serve how many meals in a year? Well, um, we serve eight to 9,000 meals a month. Okay. So about 95 to 100,000 meals over the course of a year. And all um, of that food is donated? Well, are, are, do you, we get a large portion of our food donated. Okay. We buy a lot from the food bank. Okay. And then we get a lot from another food vendor. You know, the, the wonderful thing for us is that like from the food bank, we pay a small fee per pound just right. to, you know, for them to stock it and give it to us and that sort of thing. So we're able to do a lot with very little resource as far as cash for food. Um, the other thing that helps is graduation parties and weddings and events. Uh, yeah, I, I parties. had a sandwich that was kind of like uh, from a tray that right. would be from a graduation party. Yep, graduation party, work, uh, corporate outing, whatever it is, we accept all food donations from special events to you know your backyard barbecue. If you've got leftover and want to bring it down, as you saw at lunch, we're very um, coordinated. You know, so today it was spaghetti, and then there were some scalloped potatoes and ham right. that were left over from an event. Mm -hmm. So, so there are some things that I really want to bring to uh, attention to the people that are watching, which is there are a lot of uh, places to help. Food is obviously one of them. You mentioned so if you have, um, can you can donate directly sure. to the shelter, right? Yep. So you know cans and any kind of dry goods, that sort of thing. And then there are a couple, a couple other options. My husband went through his clothes, perfectly good clothes. He looks great in them, but you know, for whatever reason, you know, he doesn't need them anymore. And so I, we brought a couple of them here. You know, there's button downs, um, you know, crew necks, sweaters, pants. I mean, all of this stuff. Jackets, I'm sure, are really good stuff. And so spring cleaning, you know, people are going through switching things over. Um, you know, hey, if you really, if you lost some weight, congratulations, you can take some of those things and bring them down here. And I'm, I'm, it doesn't matter if there are like Minnesota Vikings or something like that. That stuff doesn't matter, does it? We, we won't hold that against you. We'd understand why <laughs> people want to get rid of it, but. <laughs> um, Viking fan, be careful. <laughs> no, it's um, anything and everything. You know, all we ask for is seasonal clothing because we don't have sure. storage for winter coats. Oh, so coats, this is so. probably not what you want right now. Um, it's it's still good. Okay. Um, you know, they, they still need some long sleeve shirts to get sure. through. Um, this time of year, uh, just like the big winter parkers and stuff, if right. we, we'd wait till fall to start collecting those. Sure. But so anything that you can think of that you would normally need in a home is really the kind of stuff that is needed here. And I know there's there's never going to be enough stuff. The need will always be greater. Sure. So, yeah. yep. Tony, I, you know, honestly, this situ this um, I've wanted to do this for a long time. You know that you, yeah. you've known that, and um, and it was definitely life changing for me. It makes me feel grateful for the things that I have, and really think about the excess that I have in my life that could go for someone else and maybe help them in a different way. It could be a cool shirt that someone uses for an interview and sure. then they get a job. That would be, you know, really awesome. So I appreciate you letting me come in and well, check it you. out and volunteer. Yeah, thanks for coming in to give your time and, and the clothes. It'll go a long way with the clients we serve. So. Absolutely. And I know that the people that are watching are thinking about the things that they have and that you'll um, you'll want to give, you can go to needinspiration.com and we'll have the information for um, the shelter there. And we are moving on from the homeless shelter and we're going now to the ReStore. We're going to do that right after this. We'll be right back. We've been to the Heart Connection and also the Homeless Shelter, but if those two places are a little too labor-intensive for you, then how about shopping? 
you can come to the ReStore and if you just buy some things here, it supports a charity. I have Lane with me who works for ReStore slash Habitat for Humanity, correct? Yep. And um, this place is just full of stuff. Hopefully people can see that behind me. There's cabinets and I think this magazine thing came from, uh, from Meredith. There's just all kinds of cool things. So when you buy something here, how does it benefit Habitat? Well, all the profits for the ReStore are supporting Habitat's home building mission here in Des Moines. And so all of the profits? Yep, okay. all of them. And so 22 families will move to home ownership this year, partially for the, because of the support of the ReStore. So what all is in the store? We've got everything from lighting fixtures, paint, flooring, carpet, um, plumbing fixtures, doors, windows. You can even order carpet, I saw when I came in. Yeah, we're a Mohawk dealer also, so we can get all kinds of flooring from tile to hardwood to special order carpets. Not only will every penny of what you spend at the ReStore go to Habitat for Humanity, which helps the 22 families that will go into homes in the next year, but it's also green, which, you know, what can, how can you go wrong with that? So make sure that you come down here and check it out. You are going to be all lit up like I am because it's, it's really, truly amazing how much cool stuff there is down here. So I hope that you enjoyed uh, Need Inspiration today and that it sort of it got you inspired to get volunteering or to give back. And if you want any information about the organizations that we profile today, just go to needinspiration.com and all of the information will be there. I hope you have fun volunteering and thanks for watching Need Inspiration. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Need Inspiration. We're proud to bring a new episode each and every week. Stop into Des Moines Motors and see our incredible line of noble cars, electric motor vehicles, and quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. We'll see you on the next episode of Need Inspiration.